And away they go from the 1600 meter marker. Triton's there, Cape Thunder on the outside, State of USA. Billy Bazooka's trying to overcome the draw. Sir Theodore is near the rail. Between the two of them now, State of USA as Duke of Orange and with the pink cap runs up into third position. They are followed by ming Shi along the inside of that one as Denver about six lengths off the leader and then comes along the inside Alpenhorn and one of the trailers at this stage, Unassailable Lad and is racing about seven or eight lengths off the leader. Billy Bazooka, length and a half, Triton with the blue cap a second. Duke of Orange on the outside, then ming Shi State of USA is about four lengths off the leader. Sir Theodore's along the inside, and then comes Cape Thunder. Denver's about six or seven off them, then comes Alpenhorn and a unassailable lad. It's about eight or nine lengths off the lead. Billy Bazooka takes him to the 600. Duke of Orange, the pink cap. Triton's on the inside. State of USA. ming Shi's on the outside of runners. Then Cape Thunder, Sir Theodore, unassailable lad, behind that Alpenhorn and Denver. Top of the lane, Billy Bazooka, Duke of Orange, the first one to challenge, State of USA, Triton's on the inside, and also trying to get into the race of Sir Theodore. Coming out of the 200, Billy Bazooka, Triton, on the outside of that one is Duke of Orange. Billy Bazooka, Triton's a big runner on the inside, and State of USA on the outside. That's Triton, just the leader, Billy Bazooka's trying to fight back, Triton just in front from Billy Bazooka as they come down to the line are oh, very close. Triton or Billy Bazooka and then State of USA. Very close call between Triton on the inside and Billy Bazooka whose head is up and down at the line and it goes to well maybe maybe Billy Bazooka so we'll just wait on that. Billy Bazooka probably scraped in from Triton, but let's get the judges' confirmation on that one. And then six, State of USA, and they were followed by Sir Theodore. So it's very close indeed between the 10 and 4. 10 is paying 25 Rand 60 and 640, and Triton, number 4, is paying 160. And then number 6, State of USA, Sir Theodore, Alpenhorn, and then number 9. Duke of Orange. The toad favorite was number nine. Billy Bazooka and Triton, they together, and Duke of Orange has got the red headgear on the outside, and the three of them are going for the line as one horse, and there's nothing between the two of them. Triton and Billy Bazooka with Duke of Orange as they come down to the line. Triton's got the white noseband. Billy Bazooka's on the outside, and as they hit that line, it will show them to be very close indeed. Until the running of, well, let's just see if a photo goes up. But uh, we'll keep it on just for that second and until the running of the fourth race. No photo appears to be going up. Back to the studio. I oh, was just seeing the running of race number three and take note, uh, there is a race review. Craig upstairs, feel free to interrupt if you get any information with that race review. Billy Bazooka and uh, Triton, uh, horse number four, going across uh, the line. Very tight in the finish, but the photo was clear as crystal that Billy Bazooka got the better of Triton. Paul Laverty for uh, uh, Bram van Hastien, Mark Curry, Phil Giorgio, the birthday boy from yesterday, William Henderson, and PM Racing, the son of Pretoria has come through to win and bred by Aventure Thoroughbreds. Temba is the gentleman that takes care of this individual. Well done to you, Temba. 1,000 Rand, Hollywood bets and Gold Circle. Billy Bazooka has done it for you. Well done to Temba. First up, let's get ah, Sandiwe Mgutla in. He's uh, the winning rider and it was a great ride from the draw as well. Sandy, let's have a chat. Uh, from the draw, you know, you're riding the source for luck in the early stages of the race. And you managed to get a, you're caught wide, but you managed to have the speed to get over. Yes, you know, it really helps you when you're drawn that badly on your horse that you need to go forward. You know, when they help you that first 200 meters of the race, you know, that's half the better one. And uh, he's helped me here today, this horse. You know, he got there quite comfortable. And uh, yeah, he was gutted today to hold on. One stage just looks like three, we're gonna fight it to the line. Then one dropped off, it looked like two, and it was a tussle. Yes, you know, the horse on my outside, he moved up to me, top of the straight, and uh, 
he actually helped Maus a little bit because Maus was still quite relaxed and uh, we needed to get going. And when he moved alongside, he really helped me. But see, that didn't seem to go through. But Tava was on my inside. He, he fought on on the sauce. He actually he wanted to win today. I'm just very grateful to ride the winner for Mr. Lafferty. You know? He has been giving me a few rides and uh, I'm happy that I could manage to ride a winner for him. It's amazing. It must be a real art trying to tram your horse to get his head down on the line because sometimes before the line, you're a loser. On the line, you're a winner. After the line, you're a loser. And it was the case in this, with this horse because on the line, you're a winner. But before and after, you were second. Yes, 100%. A um, couple of weeks back, I got beat the same. Yes. I was a winner after the line and just before the line. So. And uh, today, it went my way. So, yeah, you know, it's a wheel. It sends. Between your seven shoulders, did you have a chuckle? Did you have a word who got up? Um, Sean, he, he said to me he thinks I got him, but I actually thought that he, he got me. I don't know if I saw that just after the line. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that it's gone my way. Very happy. Nice to get a chance as well from Paul Lafferty, who you've known from a young kid, from your happy days. Yes, uh, Mr. Lafferty, you know, I'm very, very grateful. You know, I have been doing a bit of work and he's throwing the rides my way. And uh, it just helps when you manage to get a winner there and there for him, you know, gives them more confidence to put you on and uh, yeah, I'm very happy. You know, it's, it's actually my first winner for Mr. Love from the time I've started riding, so it's a big moment. I'm very happy. Anything else on your side where you can help us? Um, I was like Captain, uh, Captain who is in good space at the moment. He's been very honest and uh, I think he'll give a good count of himself once again. Well done. Great ride and uh, I'm going to share a cool ring with Sean. Well done to you. Thank Andy. you very much. Once again to Mr. Lafferty, to the owners. Much appreciate the opportunity as well. Thank Lovely. you. Lovely. Paul, you, you didn't want to sound as confident as you wanted to be because you knew that uh, you liked your horse, but the form didn't jump off the page. Yeah, you know, his last one, Warren had got up and said, if I'd gone to the front, he'd have been in the first two. And I've I always thought of that and knew we'd have to race. Now, we drew deep. He didn't phone back for the ride. So uh, Ant has run a lot of work for me, he took the ride and he said, Ant, if you get it there, go to the front if you can. He's kept out for a bit and he got there, but he, he's got a bit of resolution because we were thinking of gelding him these because he, he's not really a horse who you should geld because he doesn't hold much condition. But uh, I'm very pleased he's, he's come through. So he's owned by some really big guns in the industry. Great bunch of guys. Yeah, so I'm pleased for all of them. I won't mention them all, but at least Phil's here. He's, he's come and washed. He, had, he kept the faith. But I, I really thought it would run well today. Well done, Sula. Thank you. Good going, Paul Lafferty. The birthday boy from yesterday, Phil Giorgio, is going to represent the guys. Happy belated birthday, Phil. I did not know, so apologies I didn't get to wish you, but all the best uh, for yesterday, and uh, well done to yourself and a great bunch of guys. Uh, thanks very much, Dees. Yes, uh, I must say well done to Big for putting the syndicate together. Um, Bram van Aistien, the Billy the Legend in Australia, who the source is named after. Uh, just a great bunch of guys, and I just hope they all had a little tickle. Decent odds to back, and you know, you, you follow racing every day. It could have gone either way, but uh, luck was on your side. Yes, I must say that uh, a lot of credit must go to Ant. He rode a great race. Laf gave him quite strict instructions. He said, listen, get him out. Try and get him as handy as you can. Where Warren said last time if he was handier, he wouldn't have been there at the first three. He rode a great race today. Got rolled in a little bit by the horse behind him and cost him a little bit to run inside, but it didn't affect the result, and we were just lucky it went our way. All the best to the guys. Give them our best. Well done to you, Phil. Thank you very much. Well done to all the guys. Billy Bazooka has opened up this afternoon's Pick 6. Virgins, please note a late scratching in the eighth race. Eighth race scratched is number six, Princess Sabrina, injured in transit. Eighth race, number six, a late scratching.